Hi. In this short video, let's take a quick look at this Polycom SoundStation EX conference speakerphone. Of course, everyone who had worked in an office environment before, I'm sure, is very familiar with the Polycom speakerphones. These are almost ubiquitous in pretty much any conference room. Because these phones are mainly used for business, they are ridiculously expensive when they are new. Now, this one, of course, is an older generation of the Polycom speaker phones, and it's not one of those more modern IP phones. And I'm curious to see what's inside. We know that one of the challenges for speaker phones is removing the audio feedback from the speaker. The sound from the speaker can be easily picked up by the built-in microphones and thus create an unwanted positive feedback loop. Most modern speaker phones utilize some kind of adaptive feedback cancellation algorithms implemented using DSPs for acoustic echo cancellation. And some simpler approach uses some automatic gain control on the microphone side, so whenever there are people talking on the other end of the line. The microphone gain is temporarily reduced, and when you start talking to the microphone, the microphone gain is increased while the audio gain is reduced. And this way, the cancellation uh, is actually noticeable when both sides are trying to speak at the same time, as you will notice that the conversation would be cut out depending on which side has a louder voice. And of course, the actual physical design of the phone has a lot to do with uh, whether or not uh, we have this feedback problem and also the sound quality. So let's take a quick look. And uh, I have just removed all the screws here and actually there are three here and uh, there are a couple of uh, screws hidden under the rubber feet here. But as you can see that, this is our Polycom SoundStation EX and uh, it was made in Thailand. So now let's uh, open it up. And we should just be able to lift it right up. And uh, there's a connector for the speaker here, so let me just uh, remove that. So the first thing you notice of the acoustic design is the placement of the speaker. And of course, it's a, number one, it's a facing upward, so the sound is actually escaping from the, the, this top cover. And to reduce sound, going from the back because you have the microphones housed in this uh, enclosure. And we can see that there's a hard plastic at the back of the speaker. Also, we have these uh, pads, which uh, reduces the vibration. Uh, these are soft pads here. So this way that we can ensure the sound is actually uh, mostly uh, projected upwards and very little is uh, leaked through underneath. So this is clearly the one way to reduce the interference from the speaker and the microphones. Now let's take a look at the microphone placement here. So for these kind of uh, polycom uh, phones, we have uh, typically three built-in microphones, one on each corner. And as you can see that, um, interestingly, these um, foams over time become very brittle and they just started falling apart. If you remember that some of my uh, teardown videos of the early HP uh, equipment, we have similar issues. So I wonder if this is just a common problem of these kind of uh, foam materials. Clearly, if uh, uh, they have some better choice of the foam, probably will last longer. But uh, nevertheless, I've seen that over the years, most of this foam just degrade like this. So they just totally became, uh, you know, when you touch it, it just falls right apart. But anyway, so here we have a, a microphone inside, and as you can see, the microphone is actually facing outward, so facing slightly downward. So this way that uh, the speaker was in the center position here, and uh, it would uh, um, prevent the sound wave from the speaker from interfering, entering the, the microphone. So this way to avoid the feedback generated from, for, uh, from the speaker here. And also we have this kind of uh, uh, barrier uh, right here and on the, all three corners. So this actually acoustically shield the inner portion so that uh, to minimize the uh, sound enter a microphone portion of the, the phone. And uh, this soft material here further decreases the vibration coupled in from the speaker. 
so that uh, to maximize the isolation from the microphone and uh, the speaker here. So now let's take a look at the circuit board here. And just by looking at the circuit board, it does not seem that we have any type of uh, DSP capabilities on this board. So my assumption is that this is a, one of the older units that mainly relies on the physical design of this, uh, uh, the acoustics, where the microphone the placement uh, versus the speaker to prevent the feedback from the speaker output into the microphone input. And uh, just by looking at this, it seems pretty simple. We have a couple of uh, regulators here. This is a 785, and this is a LM317, which is a adjustable three terminal device uh, regulator. And uh, here we have a uh, TDA chip, which is uh, responsible for amplifying the sound signal. And uh, then pretty much there's nothing else to it. There's a TL84, I assume that is uh, probably used for amplifying the microphone signals. But uh, the remaining circuitry, and surprisingly, is not much. But of course, there's a side that is shielded. So we'll open up the shield to see what we have underneath. Aha, uh -huh. check this out. So I guess I was wrong, and uh, this unit does have a significant processing portion and it's just hidden under that shielding metal can. After removing it, we can see that we have a couple of chips of interest here. And uh, by the way, the, the metal shielding can is a little bit difficult to remove. We have quite a few solder points here and also the metal can is a uh, half of it is on the top and the other half is uh, covering the bottom of this PCB. So anyway, so after removing the metal can, we can kind of see what uh, what's going on here. You... So now we see the arrangement of these chips and uh, we have a larger chip here and by the look of it, it could be either an FPGA or a DSP, which uh, I could not find any uh, mentioning of this part number on the internet. And the other chip is uh, branded by Polycom, which could be just a simple a uh, microcontroller rebranded, or it could be that uh, Polycom itself designed this chip. But anyway, we have an oscillator here, which is a clock for the microcontroller. And then we have a firmware stored in this uh, EEPROM. And uh, so clearly that uh, the acoustic echo cancellation is implemented in this digital portion of the circuitry. And uh, to power the digital uh, circuitry, we have this DC-DC converter chip. And this is from on semiconductor, and uh, you can see that we have the inductor here, the filter cap. So this clearly is a DC-DC uh, uh, converter portion of the circuitry, and we have a couple of uh, digital uh, chips right here. And by the way, this uh, phone can also accept uh, external microphones. So that's what these uh, uh, jacks are for. So anyway, so this is pretty much all it there is inside this uh, Polycom SoundStation EX conference speaker phone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video and uh, learned something new. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and share. I will catch up with you next time.